Hi everyone, I'm Nikita Spires and this week we are going to be painting a beautiful mallard duck. So, let's crack on. Okay, so for this video you're going to need white, black, red, blue and yellow. And if you have orange and green and brown, that's great. And if not, we can make those colours later on. So, we're going to start off with drawing the duck's head. So we're going to start at the top of the page and we're just going to make a nice curve going down. In the middle we're just going to add an eye and do its beak. With a little nose. We're then going to make this shape at the bottom, so we're going to cut the neck there, so that's where we're going to have a white patch, and then we're going to do its chest, so that's pretty much the shape, or if it helps you can just draw like a big circle and just curve it up at the top. you need to take a pause, do so, and if not, we'll do the rest of the body. So just under where we've done that white line, about a centimetre down, we'll do its back and curve it down. So now it's more looking like an egg shape. You can add in some little lines of where its feathers would be and a little tail there. We're then going to do its feet. So we'll start off with its legs. And we'll make three lines for where its feet are and we'll join them together. Might make him have little knobbly knees. So three lines again. And they join up. Now for its head, we're just going to make a circle inside of it, just like that, just one little line. So this will be the brown patch here, and then this will be its back. On its face, we're just going to make a quick marking of where the brightest green is going to go, just for reference. So if you need to pause and catch up to this point, do so now, and if not, I'll start the painting. So in a lot of my classes, I always say, when you do a painting, you need to work on the lightest colour first. By doing this, when you put your paintbrush in the water and you, you're using the lightest colours first, you're going to keep your paint water nice and clean. So 
we're going to grab that white and we're going to put it in the middle of the neck and make that nice white little line. Next, we're going to get the white and we're going to colour in its belly. Next, we're going to get some yellow, mix it in with a little bit of white, and then we'll just colour in its beak. If you want, you could get a little bit of red, mix some red in to make it a bit more orange. Just on the bottom of the beak. Get some more yellow, blend it together. If you've got brown at home, you can use that, but if not, we're going to make some brown. So to do that, we'll get our yellow, red, blue, mix it all together to make a nice brown. And now we're going to place this brown. I'll mix a little bit of white into it. I'm going to get this brown onto the back. And onto our tail. And then I'm going to clean my paintbrush. And I'm just going to add a little tiny touch of brown to the bottom of its tummy. It's really, really subtle. but it adds a nice shade, shadow. And then go in with some white and put the feathers back in. So we're just gonna blend in a bit of white. If you need to pause, do so. Next, we're going to make some orange. So you just get red and yellow, mix it together to make your orange. Or if you have some already, you can also just use that. We're going to colour in the legs. We're going to get the legs to go over the body just a little bit and blend it into that white.
with our legs we're going to grab some red and we're just going to put lines back in the three lines in the feet maybe a little bit on the knees as well then go grab some yellow and a little bit of yellow in the middle of the feet I'm also going to colour half of the legs a little bit of yellow to add to those nice highlights. Make sure that you blend it in to the body. Now I'm just going to get that white and drag it down a little bit and then you can have little, little fires on either side. I'm also going to grab that white and add a little white lines, three white lines going through to bring out the definition again. We're now going to go back to our brown. I'm just going to make a little bit more red and blue mixed together. Tiny bit of yellow. And I'm going to start colouring in the big brown area on its chest. But I'm allowing my brown to have a bit more red in it. bring that all the way up to its neck to the white area. I'm not letting it be a really straight line, making it a little bit scattered up here and then around the edges as well and just dab it on to make it look more like feathers. So you're sort of blending it in with that white. If your white's dried, you can just get a bit more white and add more white around the edges to blend these two together. I'm now going to go in with some blue. I'm going to add a little bit of blue to its neck. So I'm going in a downwards direction to create the illusion of feathers. Just blending it into that brown. I'm then going to get a tiny bit of black. I'm just going to put a little bit of black along the bottom and blend that up. I'm also going to get a tiny drop of black and put it at the top as well blend that down. You can also get some white, add a couple of white highlights into the middle.
you need to take a pause, do so. And if not, I'm going to move on to the head. So if you don't have green at home, you can just get some white, sorry, some yellow and some blue, mix it together. That'll make a green. I'm going to add the green to the middle of the head here. You can add a little bit of yellow to make it a really light, bright green. And you can add a bit of blue to it to make it a dark green. So we're going to get the dark green and put it around the rest of the head. Blending it into that lighter pattern. So again, to make your green lighter, add yellow, and to make it darker, add blue. Now we're going to grab our blue and we're going to put blue at the top of the head. I'm going to blend the blue in to the green. We can also put the blue on the bottom of its neck and just above the beak. I think I might add a little bit more orange to my beak to make it stand out a little bit more. Now you want to get your small paintbrush and go in with your black, I'm just going to go in and paint that eye to a nice little circle there. Paint its nose. And on the tip of its beak, it's going to have a little mark in. And at the top of its beak, we will have, also have a little mark in here. And I'm just going to outline the beak in black. I'm also going to get this black and put two little marks on either side of its eyes. And I'll clean my paintbrush nicely and use your smallest paintbrush. And you're just going to get a tiny bit of yellow. and add a little yellow outline of the eye. Just a little hint of yellow there. And this is my favorite bit. Clean, clean your paintbrush really well. Grab some white and add a little white highlight onto that eye. That really brings any eye to life.
it's a little bit more blue onto that head. And then go back to the body with your white and put some white back onto the neck. And you're just going to drag this white down. You can also drag it up into the green. You can also get this white. And if your colours have gone a little bit dirty, that's fine. Just add a little bit more white onto the body. Make a couple of feathers. Um, so yeah, if you've been to my class before, I also talk about layers. So what we've done on the head, we've added the green to the blues. If you do it again, get that blue, put it back through, blend it all the way through nicely. But yeah, the more layers you put onto something, the more realistic it's going to look. So you just keep doing something, just keep adding some more green. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some yellow. I'm going to put yellow straight in the middle. And a little bit at the top. And then I'm just going to blend it out. Can also go in with some brown again and just add some brown a little bit darker brown going around this area and we're just going to bring it up to the neck you can also go in with your brown and just add some nice lines for its feathers I'm going to add a bit of a brown outline over here. Maybe a little bit of brown on those feet as well. Okay, then we're going to grab some black and we're just going to add its little nails. going through
You could also, if you like, you don't have to do this, get the tiniest dot of blue, like the smallest amount. And you can just add a little bit of blue onto that white, get some more white, blend it out. And the key to this is being really subtle. You're just adding like a tiny little drop a hint of blue into that white. That's gonna look really cool. Might add a little bit more blue onto that middle area. So I'm pretty much done with my duck now, um, I've painted on recycled roofing slate so my background's already grey, if you guys want to do the same you can, or you know go crazy with your background, do whatever you want with it, maybe your duck will be on some grass, so you could do some grass at the bottom and a big blue sky if you wanted. Whatever you want, paint the background how you want, in a block colour, leave it white, whatever you feel like. Okay guys, thank you for joining this week's class. I hope you had lots of fun painting this duck and yeah, I'll see you guys another week. Ciao.